Talk a little bit more about the medical aspects of it. You, we touched on some of the health benefits uh, briefly, but explain what we're finding out in terms of cannabidiol, what some of the health benefits are or potentially could be down the road. Well, it's interesting that when we have this endocannabinoid system in our body, we have it from birth, and we're not the only ones. Uh, dogs, cats, animals throughout the animal kingdom possess this uh, CB1, CB2 receptor sites. These are receptors designed to uh, engage these cannabinoids. We produce endocannabinoids, cannabinoids internally. We provide cannabinoids or endocannabinoids to babies during breastfeeding. So this is not something that is so foreign to the body by any means. In fact, the endocannabinoid system is considered now the system that helps keep homeostasis or balance throughout the body and all other systems. So it's fundamentally important for us. And as a result, as I said earlier, it's, it's easier to almost say what it doesn't do than what it does. But from a medical standpoint, we're seeing a lot of people with seizures and epilepsy get benefits. We're seeing uh, people using it in cancers because there are immune modulating and, and, and benefits in that form. Anti-inflammatory for pain and inflammation, which is a major illness, a major issue or underlying cause for a lot of illnesses out there. Uh, cannabidiol can also help, kind of acts along, like I don't know if you know the adaptogen herbs. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of herbs that help the body find their balance and support stress. Well, it's similar. It's probably an adaptogen in that same family, and it works with corticosteroids. So how, handling stress, which in turn handles, helps handle blood sugar, which could help with type 2 diabetes. I mean, the implications are tremendous, and the fact is that it's very safe. The first thing I did was I went around to an international conference, it was in Italy, and the top, top cutting edge researchers in cannabinoids were there. And the first thing I said was, I don't really care about the seizures or the disease that you could treat, how safe is it? And they've had no, I mean, the safety is unheard of. You can take a whole bunch and they say, oh, your side effect might be a little gastric distress. That's it. So compared to all the pharmaceuticals and things like that out there, especially with children, it, it's a, it seems to be a no-brainer, especially for me being a naturopath and looking at plant-based medicine as the predominant type of medicine in the, in the world and needs to come back to being a forefront medicine in the United States as well and not depend on synthetic pharmaceuticals. They're not all bad, don't get me wrong, but in the everyday lifestyle, I don't think they fit as, as often in, in when they serve more in traumatic or acute care situations. Uh, in fact, I, one of the studies I'm working on establishing is a long-term wellness study using low-dose CBD in well people. Mm. Not looking for illness, but looking at, hey, if you take this on a regular basis, people know take vitamin D, their omega-3, their multivitamin. I feel that CBD fits in right along with that.